Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tori. If you're new here, I'm doing a quick intro. We are doing another meal challenge. I'm not sure what I'm going to title this video. I'm trying to bring you meals for $5 and under, but I really think that I can get some cheaper meals than that. So stick with me. We are headed to the store and I will show you what I got when I come home and we'll go from there. If you're new here, hi, hello. My name is Tori. I am a wife, mother to three, and we live here in Northern Colorado. I try and teach you to save money and be prepared on a budget. So if you like that kind of thing, definitely hit the subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. Alrighty, the first meal is going to be some penne pasta with Italian sausage and we are going to pair that with like a pumpkin cream sauce and I'm going to have everything typed out for you in the description box but if you can't get to that, just send me an email and I will let you know how to make this. Just uh, again, send me an email. I think that's the easiest way to kind of relay it if you're watching from your television and you're curious, but all you gotta do is watch. So here it is. I am gonna use half of the sausage, half of the cream cheese, half of the pumpkin, and you're gonna save that for another meal towards the end of the week. And we are gonna do the whole box of pasta. I'm feeding a family of five. I know there are gonna be so many people that say we don't eat like this, I don't like this, I don't like that, but try and keep an open mind. And if ever you're stumped on anything to swap, let me know. I will give you some ideas down in the comment section. So. Here we go, very, very easy. All I'm doing is boiling this box of pasta. I'm gonna brown the sausage and I'll show you how I do the pumpkin. Very simple, uh, all you need to do is roast it though. And I'm gonna do that for the entire week. I just take some olive oil, drizzle that on there. You could take whatever seasonings you want. I did not include them here in the challenge just because most people have basic seasonings. So I have nasturtium salt, which is not a basic seasoning. I used it from my garden. I just took nasturtium leaves, dehydrated them, and mixed them with my salt. And it's this really nice peppery salt. So that's all I did. I just put some olive oil there and then we flip these. The oven's at 400 and we'll go for maybe 20 or 25 minutes. All right, so I have my baking dish. I'm just going to add my cooked pasta here and then I will wait for the rest of the ingredients. I'm actually just going to put in half of my cream cheese block and save the other half for another recipe and let that kind of get melted in there. And that's really the bulk of our sauce. It adds a lot of flavor and it's pretty inexpensive. Alternatively, you could just use a individual size of Greek yogurt or an individual size of cottage cheese and blend it so it becomes like a ricotta if you want to stay on the cheap. But I can typically find cream cheese for a really cheap price. So let me cut this in half here and then I will save the other half for another recipe. So you could soften these, but I just did not plan ahead. All I'm gonna do is put them into little cubes here and get them incorporated. I do find if I cover this, then it melts a little easier, but we are going to be baking this, so I'm not too worried about that sauce not coming together the way I want it to. <laughs> So I just browned the sausage up and I actually ended up just using the entire container. I was going to make a separate recipe with this. You totally could because this was very meat heavy, but it became very filling. So I feel like it extended the meals of just a box of pasta, if that makes sense. All I did with the pumpkin, I flipped it over, as you can see me trying to struggle uh, here with one hand, but flipped it over, let it cool, and I just used one half of the pumpkin for this recipe, saved the other half for other things for the week. But I ended up adding about three-fourths cup of milk, and that could be part of your challenge. Milk is pretty inexpensive, especially at King Super's Kroger. It can often go on sale for 99 cents or below that if you find a clearance item. So I just added that to my pumpkin, took my immersion blender with some salt, pepper, and garlic, and it became a sauce. Looking back, I have done it so many different ways. I would have just put the cream cheese into this sauce and then blended it all together. You can really do it whatever way you want to. And if you did that, you wouldn't really have to use milk, but you would need some sort of liquid. The pumpkin does get a little water out of there, but not a lot. So you could add water to that. Uh, 
just so you could avoid using milk, but this is how we did it. I baked it in the oven for around 10 minutes, and this ended up being so filling. We just took half of it and froze it. It's really easy to just pop in the oven whenever we need something quick and delicious, but I hope you try this one. Let me know if you do. All right, next on the list, if you have not caught on, I am meal prepping. It's just the easiest way for me to cook for the week as well as do these videos. So I hope you don't mind. We are making a chicken corn chowder of sorts. So I have some super sweet corn. This was 99 cents for the bag. I do have bell pepper, onion, and potato from my garden, but they are super inexpensive. Please remember all of these lists of prices that I have found in my local store will be in the description box. And if you can't find something, then either take it out of the recipe or swap it out for something you do like or is cheaper. Honestly, that's the best way to do these recipes. Next up is going to be some rotisserie chicken. There's about a cup in here and a rotisserie chicken at Costco or Sam's is going to be $4.99, but oftentimes you can find a whole chicken on sale or just regular price, honestly, at Walmart for about $4.99. It's super easy to just cook your own chicken. So rotisserie chicken, if you somehow can't find one, go ahead and get a can of chicken very inexpensive even two of them would still keep you under budget so i have that and if you've been here for a while i like to make my own chicken stock with the bones and extra pieces from the rotisserie chicken of the week and then we have that second half of the cream cheese everything's going to go in the crock pot and we are going to add a little bit of water to this it will go low and slow for the day and i will show you the finished product all right so in the crock pot we have one cup of chicken again you can get chicken so cheap. Chicken drumsticks are even cheaper than all that, but we're gonna use half of the bag of corn. Save the other half for a recipe on down the way here. So six ounces of corn. You are gonna do two russet potatoes. Again, I'm feeding just about five because I eat for two here. So you could use more, but we're not using too much of the bag. I have a half of an onion, probably a fourth at this point. There wasn't a lot. And then I have one bell pepper. Any color shall do. I am using chicken stock from the chicken. So if this is not in your budget, I totally get that. You could just use water and then salt it up. Or you could find some chicken bouillon powder and just keep that on hand because if you do buy it, just outright, it will save you money in the long run. But I understand if you're going to the grocery store with an X amount of money, this probably would not fit into your budget. So I'm gonna put that into my soup here. You want it nice and gelatinous. And then we're just gonna do a cup or two of these of water. Let me see where we're at. So we had two jars of water total and then the jar of broth as well as this block of cream cheese. And again, we're just gonna go low and slow for around eight hours or high for four. The next recipe are going to be these little tacos. I don't really know what to call them, but you will see how they come out. I am starting off with one cup of flour and about a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm gonna mix that together with some salt and pepper, and then I will add my liquid. So my liquid in this instance is going to be some of that pureed pumpkin and then a little bit of water and what we're making out of these are little tortillas you could certainly buy store-bought tortillas even corn tortillas are pretty cheap but i just wanted to see how this would go and it is fall so i love utilizing pumpkin whenever i can very very simple and delicious
All right, so I have the tortillas happening. I have some white beans and corn. My five-month-old has learned her voice. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of mild chili powder and some garlic, and then I'm just gonna make some oven-baked tacos with a little bit of cheese. They're gonna be delicious. I will show you how I put them together. So there are a number of ways that you could serve these. You could roll them up into enchiladas. You could just serve them just like this and add tortillas to your plates. But I wanted to do it like this. I don't know. I've seen uh, other creators do it like this, uh, usually in a baking dish. But this is all I had at the moment that was clean. So all I'm doing is putting cheese on the bottom. I have about eight here. The ninth just uh, got a little crispier than I needed it to. And all I'm doing is filling these up so my oven's at 300 I just need them to kind of set up and take their shape in the oven and that's exactly what they did I'm pairing it with brown rice just because it was cheaper than white rice and I'm using a cup of it so I think it equaled out to about 30 cents and we had plenty left over as well as corn and beans so if you need to do something with that you could add it to that white chicken chili or whatever we're calling it or you could just do rice and beans for one of your meals for the week you could add it to your scrambled eggs for some extra bulk in the morning there's so many things you can do with these extra ingredients i want you to keep that in mind when you're buying simple ingredients like rice and beans but these went in the oven again for 10 minutes they came Came out we served them with a touch of sour cream and they were amazing I did end up serving these with a little bit of diced tomato I found mine for a quarter at my farm stand and that is my shameless plug to go shop local when you can or grow it yourself those little touches just add so much extra flavor and a tomato was just what these tacos needed Alrighty friends, that is gonna do it. I'm super excited with how things came out. All together, we made three meals, but serving sizes, the pasta box alone should serve eight, but we all know pasta, so we're gonna call it an even, you know, six or seven. Uh, and then the soup, you can serve with rice, you can serve it over a baked potato, serve it with some crusty bread, but that's gonna serve eight, as well as the tacos. I can't just eat one taco, so we're gonna do two tacos per person, and that's gonna have four servings. So when you are looking at my thumbnail, you might see that, hey, this says such and such meals or such and such servings. And that's really what I'm trying to get at, the serving size, not meals. So you may see this as three meals, but think about it like this. You can take three meals for your week and you can alternate them. I know that does not sound appealing to most, but when you are on a budget, when you are having some sort of food insecurity, or maybe you just want to save a buck or two this is a really great tool to use so find three meals that you love and alternate it and then speaking of food insecurity i always like to bring it up in every video if you are experiencing it dial your local 211 and they can help you if they can't email me and i will try my best to do what i can in your area to help you please know that i am one person and you know it's just reaching out that's all you have to do just reach out if you need help so i hope this was was inspirational. I hope this uh, inspired you to shop on the cheap. Definitely check the description if you're looking for a recipe or the prices. I am in Northeast Colorado. My prices will vary from yours unless you're in the exact spot as mine. If you're new here, would love it if you hit that subscribe button. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative. Check out my budget playlist linked in the description box as well, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, everyone.